He is known for founding the Lestadian Pietist Revival Movement to aid his Sami congregations struggling with alcoholism. He is recognized for his role as a Swedish Sami pastor and administrator of the Swedish State Lutheran Church in Lapland. His name is Lars Levi Lestadius. In the harsh landscapes of Lapland, a man emerged as a beacon of hope for his people. Lars Levi Lestadius, a Swedish Sami pastor and administrator of the Lutheran Church, witnessed firsthand the devastating effects of alcoholism on his largely Sami congregations. Determined to make a difference, Lestadius founded the Lestadian Pietist Revival Movement, a powerful force that aimed to rescue his people from the clutches of addiction. But Lestadius was not just a man of faith. He had a deep passion for the natural world, and his scholarly pursuits led him to become a renowned botanist. His studies and discoveries in the field of botany would leave an indelible mark on the scientific community. Lestadius's botanical expertise allowed him to not only understand the medicinal properties of plants but also to appreciate the delicate balance of nature. However, it was in his role as a pastor that Lestadius truly shone. Recognizing the devastation caused by alcohol, he became a teetotaler himself and dedicated his life to awakening his Sami parishioners to the destructive power of alcohol. Through his sermons and teachings, he instilled a sense of hope and empowerment, helping his people break free from the chains of addiction and reclaim their lives. Lars Levi Lestadius's story is a testament to the transformative power of compassion and knowledge. His tireless efforts to uplift his community, both spiritually and scientifically, continue to inspire generations. His legacy reminds us of the importance of standing up for what is right and using our talents to make a positive impact on the lives of others. In the small Lapland parish of Karaswando, misery and alcoholism plagued the people during the time of Lestadius's arrival in 1826. But it was in 1844, during an inspection tour of a seal, that Lestadius had a fateful encounter with a Sami woman named Mila Clementsdotter. Mila belonged to a revival movement led by Pastor Per Brandel, and she shared her experiences of living faith with Lestadius. This meeting proved to be a turning point for Lestadius, as he finally understood the secret of living faith. With newfound inspiration, Lestadius's sermons took on a new color, filled with vivid metaphors from the lives of the Sami people. He preached about a caring God who was concerned about the well-being of the people and denounced priests and traitors who exploited others. The impact was profound, as people began to respond to his message. The movement quickly spread from Sweden to Finland and Norway, with Lestadius basing his sermons on the teachings of the Bible. The Sami community noticed a change in Lestadius. His sermons resonated with them, as he spoke their language and used metaphors they could understand. He challenged the immoral practices of priests and traders, which resonated with the people. The church became a place of energy and fervor, with confessions, prayers for forgiveness, and a newfound desire to learn to read among the young and old. However, not everyone was accepting of these changes. Those who profited from the sale of liquor mocked the new morals, but the positive effects were undeniable. Drunkenness and theft decreased, improving relationships, finances, and family life within the Sami community. As Lestadius moved to Pajala in 1849, resistance to his radical Christian ethics and moral confrontations grew. In 1853, the bishop decided to hold separate church services for the Lestadians and others due to the growing divide. This marked the emergence of Lestadianism as a distinct movement, although it remained within the Church of Sweden. The rapid rise of Lestadianism among the Sami can be attributed to several factors. Lestadius's identification as a southern Sami, his preaching in Sami dialects, and his choice of uneducated lay preachers from the Sami reindeer herders contributed to the movement's popularity. Additionally, Lestadius borrowed pagan deities and concepts familiar to the Sami, adapting them to Christianity to establish common ground. The strict moral code and temperance of Lestadianism appealed to the Sami, leading to communities overcoming alcoholism and improving their social standing. Finally, the Sami saw Lestadianism as a faith that originated from within, as Lestadius himself professed to have discovered true living faith through his encounter with Mila Clementsdotter. When Lestadius passed away in 1861, Johann Radema succeeded him as the leader of the Lestadian movement. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.